Hello, welcome to the AIM tutorial. In this class, we will learn how to define quartile and quartile. All right, these two are different identities, and we need to differentiate between these two. All right. So before walk through the coding part, I just have the different explanation of this quartile all right so we are having this data and this data is divided suppose i'm having one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten so this data is divided into two part so that is the median part by default it is called median so this would be around 5.5 here all right so if we divide this data into two part then it is called two quantile is by default median but If I say that if I will divide this data into three part that is three quantile it is called tercile all right similarly I will divide this data into four quartile then it will be called quartile four quartiles four quantile is called quartiles Similarly, I am having five quantile of my data set, then it will be called quantiles again. Similarly, I am having 100 quantile, it is called percentile. Alright, so this is well known term for us. So. We are going to divide this data into 5.5 now I'm having a formula so this one is this one is called Q2 okay but I if I will divide the rest of the part into further two part so this will be called Q1 similarly I will divide this data into further two part so this will be called Q3 but question is how to find q1 and q2 so q1 for q1 i am having formula n minus 1 multiplied by quartile period plus 1 let's say i want to take first 25 percent because this is 25 percent and rest data is 75 percent right Suppose I am having Q1 that is by default 25% that is 0.25 which means QP is having value 0.25. Now what is the size of this data? This is 10. So I will take 10 minus 1 then plus 1. So it will be 9 into 0.25 plus 1 that is around 2.25 plus 1 that is equal to 3.25 so I have gained 3.25 as Q1 now I want to calculate that Q2 so Q2 would be equal to n minus 1 into QP for QP Q2 what is the value here this is 0.5 so I will take 9 10 minus 1 into 0.5 plus 1 that is 9 into 0.5 plus 1 that is 5.5 this is 2 Q2 similarly I can find the 
q3 that is q3 is equal to n minus 1 multiply qp plus 1 that is 10 minus 1 multiplied by 0.75 plus 1 that is 9 into 0.75 plus 1 so this will be equal to 6.75 plus 1 is equal to 0.75 into 9 So 0 0.75 into 9, 6.75 plus 1 that is 7.75 that is equal to Q3. Okay. So now what is the what is the interpretation part of this Q1? Because we have received Q1 is equal to 3.25 q2 is equal to 5.5 q3 is equal to 7.25 which means this if this is the, the data 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 means actually this is the index number also so this is the q2 this is the q1 that is 3.25 and this is the q3 this is 5.5 this is 7.25 now see this divide has been this data has been divided into four equal parts how to check that just say what is the value here this is the one part two part and 2.25 now take this value here this is 0.5 here one here 0.5 here so 1.75 means 0.75 plus 0.5 that is 1.25 and 1 here that is 2.25 again. Here we are having you can subtract this data that is 2.25 again and here rest of the part is 2.25 again. So you can say that this data has been divided into 4 equal parts. 1 2 3 4 so 1 2 3 4 is the four equal parts now let's through let's walk through the coding part how to check the coding okay so i'm having here this q1 and q2 let's say one uh, first we can import lab relevant library import numpy as np all right then define some variable variable like x is equal to 1 comma 2 comma 3 comma 4 comma 5 comma 6 comma 7 comma 8 comma 9 comma 10 all right so i can run this code and try to print this data okay this is the 1 to 10 data now i want to check that what is the first quartile so let's say q1 is equal to np dot quantile for this we are having function name quantile x comma 0.25 alright so I am going to copy this and try to print this value q1 let's see what will be the value of q1 let's say 3.25 same as our numerical value similarly I will calculate the q2 value with 0.25 value and try to print the q2 
okay. Similarly, this is 5.5. Similarly, I am going to calculate Q3 value with 0.75 and here Q3. So it is 7.75 that is Q3. Okay. So now I am going to plot box plot. So max plot lib. So now I am going to import max plot lib dot pipe plot as plt and try to plot try to plt dot box plot of which variable x so i am having x data box plot so how to interpret, interpret this data you can see here you can see here this one is the median okay this one is going to till 5.5 all right similarly this is going to the 3.25 and this value is going to represent 7.75 so this is the boundary of this box plot and this is the median value of this box plot of the entire data and if someone is lying beyond this value like someone here here and here and here then it will be called outlier okay so how to find the this range this box plot range okay i am going to erase all these value so let's find out all uh, the box range how to find boxes so this box range is called actually iqr so this iqr is q3 minus q1 what is the value of q3 here it is 7.75 minus what is the value q1 here it is 3.25 here so it is 5 it is 4.5 so let's see what is the value of this box you can see it is almost 4.5 so this is how we interpreted this box plot thank you happy learning